Okay, so in this video I tested um, four power carving discs. The first one I'm gonna talk about here, this is the cuts all. I believe it's the middle of the aggressiveness on what they have. This one works pretty good. I like that it's, uh, that it's rounded and then it cuts all the way around the side. Makes it easy to get into, into places and you can cut all the way up to the edge of it. This one is about 60 bucks. I don't, I haven't tried any of the other, um, the more aggressive or the less aggressive. I'm assuming the less aggressive would even leave a smoother surface than this. That's what this one looks like. This is the sawdust it produces. It's, uh, it's almost a powder. Definitely wear at least a dust mask, if not a respirator. It's a new product. This is called a rotary rasp. This one's not as curved as the as the cuts all. It's got carbide uh, flakes that make a rough surface. This one works pretty well too. It's a little flatter so it, it won't cut on the edge and you can actually uh, use this edge as a point if, if you want to get a line and then carve down into the wood but leave a line. You could do that with this one because it doesn't cut on the edge here. This one is pretty good. This one is $39.99, I believe. The surface on, on this one, it's uh, just slightly rougher than the, than the cuts all. I would say it's probably a medium for uh, how much material it removes. And it produces a sawdust just slightly less powdery than the cuts all. So this one also, definitely wear a dust mask. I would just wear a dust mask on everything and that way you're covered. So the next one up is, this is another new product. It's called a, a rotary planer. This one works really well. I'm, I'm, I really like this one. It's actually got blades instead of carbide grit or like the cut saw, it's got the little needles. This one actually has a blade. So this one actually uh, cuts really smooth. This is what it produces when you, when you use it. It actually just shaves off you get a lot of shavings. This one also you can, with the way it's cut here, it's got the edge here, so you could use this as a guide if you wanna leave a straight line or if you're trying to cut down into a, like, an, like a curved indent or something where you have an, a, a ledge, you could do that with this because this would be your guide to outside edge and then it would cut. This one, it, it uh, if you kind of push down on it, it's pretty aggressive. It'll remove a lot of material. And then if you don't push down real hard, just kind of make light passes, then it removes less. It's, it's less aggressive. I'm really happy with this one. This one is, uh, it's called the Rotary Planer. It's uh, $79.99, I believe. And you can see the, the surface is, is uh, just a, a little bit of sandpaper and that's all this would require. I see it all over the internet. Price is, uh, it's crazy. I mean, it, this one I paid $22 for it through Walmart online. Or no, actually, oh yeah, I did. I, I was, 
Harbor Freight carries this. I was gonna go to, actually I went to Harbor Freight to get one of these, but they were sold out. At Harbor Freight, it, it was, at the time, it was on sale for $24.99. I think their regular price is right around 30 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. So I ended up ordering this through Walmart, and it was 22, 22 something. But I've seen them anywhere from, I've seen them as low as $18, and I've seen them as high as $60 online. This one cuts really smooth. If you, if you cut, on the edge it'll cut like a chainsaw right right through there if you if you put it on edge and then i notice on this one how much you tip it determines how aggressive it's going to be if you lay it kind of flat it'll it'll take off just lightly like this and leave a smooth surface and then the more you tip it the more it digs into the wood. And then, you know, as you as you tip it all the way up, then it's just gonna be cutting through like a chainsaw would cut through a log. This one is really, this one will be really good for, um, for initially, like if, I, if you're doing a bowl where you gotta, you know, get down into the wood, this will work really good because it'll cut right on the edge and it's aggressive. So you'll be able to remove a lot of material and you can get down in there, uh, establish your edge once you, get that pretty much dug down in there then you could switch to a different wheel that's maybe less aggressive or this might work if the only thing is if depending on how much room you have for the bowl you know it might be tipped and it's going to be more aggressive as you as you tip it up so maybe like that cuts all or the or the rotary rasp or something like that would be less aggressive if you have to get in there and, and tip it more there's, there's going to be a couple more that I'll do a, I'll do a review on them when I when I get them and I get set up. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you next time.